And the last interesting feature in camera in Cinema 4D is a spherical tab. In a spherical tab, you can create 360 images, uh, <clears throat> VR or a spherical image. Uh, I give you a, a link in description that I create 360 images with Simlab Composer. It's very simple in Cinema 4D also, but you can uh, see it there. For, <clears throat> you have a scene and you put your camera at the center of that and then you uh, the camera rendered 360 and then you can click and drag and look around your scene. It's very interesting. So this is our camera here. We have to make it exactly center the scene. It's very important. Going to the transfer, transform and make all of them position, rotation, everything zero. And then position it at the center of your scene that you want to render. Pick it up a little and it's ready to render. So first you have to go and look at to your camera, then enable the three color uh, 360 and don't forget to go your output setting and give a higher number of uh, pixels. 2000 to 1000 is nice or bigger and see the ratio I'll use it like this and just enable I don't change any setting and just render and as you can see this is 160 images it's a free call that open look at this image you can better see that for example we are in this scene and it sits <clears throat> We put a camera here and it's open it with a map. And then in a, another software or YouTube or any platform, these 360 images will be um, wrapping again. And you can uh, go and look around. Go to the link this, uh, in description and you can see it better. Okay. And you can use it in the sky as a HDRI. So uh, let's see some settings. As you can see, the camera change like this. This is our default camera, and this is our 360 or VR, which are reality camera. <clears throat> Field of view helper. It's the angular. It means it looks like this. You can um, change the longitude or latitude degrees this degrees don't change it means it is 160 it's a complete free call <clears throat> or you can change the helper this is just a doom and as you can see you can just uh, render hemisphere you don't need to this bottom of your render or yes we have because uh, it's an elbow but you can just change the latitude and as you can see, this is a complete sphere render and it's in half of them or any. This means it just renders sky or scene. <clears throat> or with the helper, you can make it full and you can change the angle in this direction, angle in any direction. As you can see, you can render, for example, just this part of your scene. Or full range, you can turn all of them on and full range. The important thing here is a uh, mapping. We have a different mapping here. What are, what are these mapping? Uh, they, are, they are opening your <coughs> image because uh, for this 3D 160 image or VR, we render whole scene and then we have to uh, make them in a 2D and then give, your, in a, give that 2D image, for example, this 2D image to the render engine, YouTube, any platform, Facebook, and then you can <coughs> click and drag and go around. We have a different mapping here. For example, this is our box. This is our scene. And the camera opened that scene and rendered it with its 2D image. So we don't have any 3D image. 2D image and another software's 
rapid, rapid again. The latitude and longitude mapping is looks like this. Exactly this. Now all platform and most of the platform and the software accept this. But for example, in a I think Unity engine or Facebook or Twitter, the render the X in this direction X positive negative X Y and they separate the different parts of the images like this or imagine this is most understandable things here for example you have a box and this box will be opened to the 2d image like this okay it's a, it's a, it's all about the UV if you know the UVs it's all about the UVs we open the scene and render it and then to the third party software or another software the software wrap it to the image again and we have our speaker render so it's very simple change the settings put the camera exactly at the scene uh, don't uh, be careful about the rotation of the scene but the position is not important choose your mapping depend on your platform that you want to upload mm. and they that, that that platform tell you the which uh, mapping they need just enable change the setting that um, create a higher number of the pixel to better quality and then hit render and save it and then you can upload it you can animate your camera animate your camera and save as an old frame it gives you 260 video that's very simple hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release